my name is Nancy Gustafson. I'm the superintendent of the Millis Public Schools. And I'd like to talk a little bit about our personalized learning initiative. Millis is a catalyst member of the Maple Consortium in Massachusetts, which is the Massachusetts Personalized Learning and Educational Technology Organization, a group that learns from each other and shares best practices with other districts to help move Massachusetts forward and develop better ways to engage our students, honor that they are all individuals and deserve um, to have all their unique needs met and be able to fly as far as possible in their educations. The White Group, led by Jason Phelps, the Clyde F. Brown Principal, led his group to see Grade 1, Spanish Immersion class taught by Adria Osborne. There, students used language apps to develop Spanish vocabulary. The Green Group, led by Maureen Knowlton, the middle school principal, paid a visit to Pre-K, where we met Mrs. Molly Paraccio's class. They incorporated personalized learning by doing two activities. The first one was called My Family Unit, where it was a student center and all the students used My Play Home app, in addition to prop building, make-believe play blocks. The last group for the cycle went to grade 4 to visit Mr. Chris Nardone, who used technology center-based learning rotations to keep his kids learning. During the next cycle, between 10.45 and 11, the group visited the middle school. The green group visited Mrs. Diane Shaughnessy, who teaches 7th grade English language arts. She instructed her students to use various iPad apps to present interest-based research related to the novel called The Red Kaya. During this cycle, the white group visited Mrs. Katie Levert's grade 7 math class. There, students used iPads to access Google Classroom, Google Sites, and Khan Academy while studying angles. The yellow group visited Michelle Leha's class, where the 8th grade class was using Kahoot to review and create a video project on the five pillars of Islam. A classroom in the middle school was visited by the yellow group. They saw an 8th grade math class taught by Mary Ellen de Spinoza. Students used a variety of apps and sites, Edpuzzle, Assistments, Google Sites, and Quizlet to learn about the slope. Next, we moved on to the last middle school set of classes. The Green Group visited the 8th grade science classroom taught by Lance Benham. There, they used EduCreations to engage in a responsive activity as a follow-up to a density lab. The Green Group looked at a class grades 10 to 12 taught by Mr. Brian Cravey. His philosophy class saw students looking at an online textbook and completing a student-driven reading. Last, the Yellow Group visited a 9th grade class, Art Design and New Media, taught by Mrs. Carol Haggerty. There, the visitors observed student presentations of its learning e-portfolios. The Yellow Group visited a pre-calculus class taught by Rachel Allen. Students there used Google Classroom, Socrative, and Graphing Calculators to support learning about graphing functions. That was the wrap-up to visiting classrooms. From there, all three groups were grouped in the library to discuss the day. Still in the Millis High School Library, we had a faculty panel. We had BAPL group leaders lead the panel. From the middle school, BAPL, we had Wendy Cantoreggi and April Hodge. From the high school BAPL, we had Carol Haggerty and Rachel Allen. Lastly, from the elementary school BAPL, we had Sarah Alhaza and Pat Grancelli. After all the group discussions, we had a group debrief with David Dockerman, a Harvard professor. Now that it has been a few months since the superintendent visited, Miller Superintendent Nancy Gustafson looks back on the experience. Millis was asked to host a learning tour so that veteran and highly esteemed superintendents and former superintendents could get an idea of what personalized learning using technology looks like, feels like, and to engage with our students around what it means to them. The group was very impressed with quite a few things in Millis. Uh, they got to spend time in classrooms, we had a panel, they ate lunch with teachers, and uh, had a teacher panel 
discuss what some of the strategies are that they use to personalize learning. And then I think most powerfully they got to engage with students. Uh, they afterwards noted um, what a great culture we have, which is true. Our small school, big family really is true and comes through in how our teachers really get to know their students in all ways, both um, their interests and passions, but also their skill level and what they need to progress and really take off in their education. They were also very impressed with how skilled and how progressive our teachers are in their strategies they use, how they really get it. Um, grading for learning, personalizing, using technology always in service of meeting students' needs better. We were honored to share what we have learned and to learn from the insightful feedback the superintendents gave us. Millis Public Schools continues to personalize learning and work to meet their students' needs. Millis hopes to inspire other schools and be a model for what personalized learning could look like in all public schools.